let's talk Robert Sala. Botan, from your perspective, how big of a deal is his loss to the 49ers? Well, in the past few weeks, I think that right now everybody knows who is watching us regularly that I'm a big fan of Robert Sala and uh, I'm a big fan of the development and the work that he made with this 49ers defense. I think that he was the most important man uh, in this team this year, at least, uh, because he was the only one who can uh, go through all the injuries because defense had so much more injuries than uh, we had on the offensive side of the ball. And, uh, <laughs> and I must say that it's a huge loss. I can't think any bigger loss than Robert Sala this offseason. Yeah, because I think I think of him as sort of like the head coach behind the head coach. Yep. Like the head coach, he has all the the leadership that maybe Kyle Shanahan lacks, but he doesn't take the he doesn't take the spotlight. He lets it be Kyle Shanahan's team. So there's that leadership for the that the Niners are going to lose. But I think even more important, um, he's the brains of a great defense. He's not just like passionate and energetic. He's brilliant. And I don't know if, I mean, D'Amico Ryan is clearly very smart as well, but I don't know if he's at that level yet or ever will be. And the Niners defense may not be as sophisticated as it was the past couple of years. It may go back to being rush four play zone defense, you know, what it was a couple of years ago. Well, in my opinion, uh, why we choose Ryan is the thing that uh, it's it's some kind of of the sense that uh, inside me that Kai Shanahan wants to prove, he, prove himself again because a lot of the people think of Kai Shanahan that he developed Robert Saleh to the defensive coordinator as he is. And I think that Kai Shanahan wants to prove that with his uh, schemes, with his geniusly right. adapted schemes, uh, he can develop Ryan as well. But right. I'm concerned because it's not a usual thing that a positional coach uh, develops himself into a head coach uh, as a head start, I think. So I'm concerned. I don't think that Ryan can be as good as Sala was. Yeah, I think what, what Shanahan's thinking is, man, this defense is loaded anyway. We're going to get Nick Bosa back. We got Fred Warner. Uh, it's a really good defense. Eric Armstead, Javon Kinlaw. Anyone could coach it. Let Robert Sala leave. D'Amico Ryan's will step in. He'll do just as good of a job. I'll look like a genius for promoting him. But I think that uh, I think the defense is going to take a significant step back next season, a significant step back, not just because D'Amico Ryans is inexperienced, but because they're losing a lot of players. And I think um, Robert Sala could has shown that he can make up the difference. Like he can lose all of his starters and keep the defense yep. playing at a top five level. I don't think Ryan's going to be able to do that. So I think we're going to see that the defense is going to fall back to maybe middle of the pack. And we're going to see that Robert Sala is worth that much, like maybe 10 ranking spots, something like that. It's going to be a big deal for the defense in particular. And the other thing is that um, a lot of the people are not talking about it, but um, on the defense, we are going to lose a lot of players from the secondary. Yeah. And right now, I think what I think of is uh, the most important positional group in the in the defense is the secondary in okay. uh, nowadays. So and we don't have enough cap space to just... I don't know, sign another Jason Barrett if he is going to leave the team uh, in this offseason. So, right. And they got to be in a great trouble. Ford, they got to replace him unless he's coming back. Yep. You know, and, and if Nick Bosa doesn't play like he did in 2019, D'Amico Ryan's job is going to be very difficult. He's going to have to get very creative the way Robert Sala did. 